Financial education is important because it equips us with the knowledge and skills we need to manage money effectively. Without it, our financial decisions and the actions we take or don't take lack a solid foundation for success. Given the above statistics, it might not be surprising that nearly two-thirds of Americans can't pass a basic test of financial literacy. To explore the importance of financial education, we turned to personal finance experts working in colleges, high schools, and credit unions. Together, the populations they serve span a broad range of ages, incomes, and backgrounds. These educators witness firsthand the impact that financial literacy, or the lack of financial literacy, can have on a person's life. So before going deeper into the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. So let's get started. Why it's so important in 2022. Among the several unfortunate side effects of the COVID-19 pandemic was the financial impact it had on mainly low and middle income people and especially groups already considered financially vulnerable, such as migrants living in the US. Many of these people found themselves unemployed and reliant on government assistance like stimulus checks that were slow to arrive if they were even eligible to receive them at all. Migrant families with mixed immigration status, for example, were disqualified from receiving stimulus payments, even though they were amongst the groups that needed them most. In January 2020, before the US was feeling the full effects of the pandemic, 41% of Americans reported they would be unable to cover a $1,000 emergency with the savings they had. Six months later, as the virus devastated the U.S., nearly 25% of Americans had no emergency savings at all and 16% had taken on more debt since the start of the pandemic. On top of that, nearly one-third were also reporting a lower income than six months prior. Although being more financially literate would not have eliminated the financial burden caused by the coronavirus entirely, it may have helped many individuals to be better prepared. That's why we believe you should make 2022 the year you make becoming financially literate your goal. So let's talk about the benefits of being financially literate. There are a wealth of benefits for taking the time to become financially literate. The biggest benefit is that financially literate people are better prepared for the future. If 2020 taught us anything, it's that we never know what can happen and even wealthy people can suddenly find themselves in a financial crisis. However, if you're prepared, the likelihood that you and your family can withstand a temporary financial roadblock is much greater. Financially literary people are also less vulnerable to fraud since they have a good understanding of their finances and take the time to make informed financial decisions. What is the Financial Literacy 101 Rule? The word finances can be really intimidating. Most people start to think of Wall Street, interest rates, and other abstract money concepts. But in reality, your finances can be as simple as the money you earn and the bills you pay. It all depends on your situation and your financial goals. However, there are a few basic financial literacy keywords and concepts that are good to get familiar with. Number one, personal finance. A term that's all about your own financial situation and goals and how they are affected by your income, expenses, family size, living situation, and more. Plus, how you develop strategies to better budget, invest, and save your money. Number two, budgeting. How you plan to spend your money. In other words, how much of your income you put aside for savings, expenses, and bills. It's really as easy as that. Number three, credit. Essentially borrowing money from a lender with the expectation you will pay it back in installments, usually with interest fees added on. Number four, debt. The money you owe someone else. Number five, investing. Putting money into something with the hope 
that it will generate more income in the future, including stocks, real estate, and retirement funds. If you understand at least the basics of these terms, you're already ahead of the game. Financial literacy is also something you can share with your family so that everyone is better prepared for the future. Whether you want to pay off debt, save for retirement, or start a business, financial literacy skills can help you navigate almost any situation. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked this video. If you really then do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.